Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Mother of Karma, and I'm back with another quick reading. This reading is going to be um, in regards to a message that I got intuitively. Oh, and we already got a card that fell, folded out. Um, intuitively, I'll say like a couple weeks ago. And it was ringing around the rosy. So I'm like, okay, is it? A good thing or is it a bad thing if a bad if it's a bad thing then it means that divine feminines are being gang stalked by people who are trying to traffic them and apparently these people who are trying to traffic them um went to different voodooists in disguise and paid them for like spiritual work in different countries and shit and now it's like a battle like it, it's not it's not a battle it's like it's like it's already won but people are still sneaking and creeping trying to get in any crack that they can creep in or sneak in um now i'm hearing that that drake song yeah now you know how we some 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 now you know late night or something now you know how we creeping or how we thinking i don't fucking know something like that um but yeah, the ring around the rosy part, it was quite baffling because, you know, a rose is quite enchanting, okay? And if you have rings around a rose, the rose cannot grow or continue to, you know, produce petals. And to me, that's, I get it. I woke up this morning, my eyes were um, burning as well. And lately there's been a fog, okay? Other readers have been picking up on this shit too, but I seen the motherfucking fog like a month and a half ago up here in the third eye and the fog i was standing on a mountain i was in a i was in like some sort of facility in the mountain on excuse me on a mountain that was higher than the highest mountain if that makes sense and on this highest mountain it was you could see the peak of the mountain but right at the like peak of it was nothing but clouds fogs all that so I haven't seen the fog clear up, but I have tried to t touch back into it and and some of the clouds have cleared up. So it's not as foggy, but we're, we're it's like we're getting there, okay? And so if you have thing like, okay, so like I'm trying to, so the rings are chains, all right? So imagine a rose in the middle, but chains, like, like a, it's just a ring of chains around this rose and it's one of it is spinning towards the right and then you have another chain outside of that that's spinning to the left and you have another one that's outside of that spinning to the right and so forth and it's like four different chains outside um four or five four four different chains outside of this rose so perhaps the rose could symbolize the four elements as well so someone has conquered the elements or whatnot so I, alchemy or something like that um could be significant or you could be into alchemy um but I guess that's what the commotion is divine the true chosen people are being spiritually tested at this time i don't know but the cards that um came out was the ace of wands and the two of wands so this is like new ace of wands is like new passionate beginnings okay um and then we have two of wands which is making a decision so back to back. So there's, so you can have like four different options or like four score options coming towards you like quite intriguing actually because it's baffling me i don't um not picking up on the message to this quite fast let me see and now we're gonna switch to my cards because this is where this comes in all right holy spirit can you please clarify 
what is the energy surrounding the ring around the rosies we have the ace of wands two of wands what is this okay so alabama and alaska could be significant uh aurora lights or, or is that canada uh, it's alaska all right what do we mm. temporary transfer of persons in custody so this could be inmates we're talking about pris people in prison so someone could be falsely imprisoned right now um false documents read the contracts so someone's ew. so hold on somebody signed a false contract or false documents somebody was um somebody was forced as a child to sign false documents or you could have false documents in your case then we have physical and electronic surveillance run it back like a track meet um <laughs> financial analysis run them receipts purchases so okay somebody could be from alabama or his name is alabama or alaska but they could be from these places or currently have connections to these places or working out of these places and or have stayed in these places and or have properties in these places and or are building in these places and or um are from these places or were born in these places okay um temporary transfer of persons in custody Oh, why am I why am I coming out in this reading? So if you aren't aware, you guys, if you are a diligent mother and you know like you are not going crazy and you're currently battling a court situation in which you are finding out, um, you know, after five years of being with someone that they're gay on the low, they lied about it, um, and that they also touch children, um, let me know because uh, we may have, you know, some people in, of, the same flock you know um just on the down low and we not know about it so perhaps we could put the pieces together sis um but yeah temporary transfer of persons in custody so uh temp it's like temporary custody orders um temporary legal custody uh temporary legal holds but somebody's like somebody could be in uh spiritual jail temporarily until they get their shit together or speak the truth um and or somebody could be physically about to temporarily be placed in jail or somebody is temporarily in jail or somebody could be going to prison so it's kind of like um this card is blue so it's kind of like speak up before you get to being beaten black and blue or by black and blue excuse me but really more so uh speak speak up before it gets to that point is it's, it's, it's kind of like um someone doesn't realize that someone's actually trying to help them versus attack them um so false documents yeah somebody made a false report on you perhaps in this custody case or this um the information pertaining to your legal situation Physical and electronic surveillance, um, so stalking, um, financial analysis. Okay, so somebody could be like sizing you up to see how much money you have. Um, but also you need to, somebody needs to provide receipts of um, purchases and stuff like that to their legal situation. Oh, and somebody that you're dealing with in the legal situation is a, is a hacker, is a stalk, like a real life psychopathic stalker. And... You know, you have them block on all platforms, but somehow they just know every single detail of everything that you're posting online. And they literally snitch on themselves saying it in text messages and phone calls and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, okay, why are you not in jail? So who were you fucking in the legal system to stay out of jail? That's what's going on here. Okay. The whole... Yeah, serving of judicial documents. Somebody got served judicial documents and somebody uh, 
on the other side did not. Support of undercover officers will be very important to test testimony in court as required. So this could be somebody um, about to testify in court, um, or this could be someone who doesn't want you to testify in court, but there are um, undercover people who are um, working on your behalf and supporting you apparently. Identify methods of trans transports used in the case. Conceal, store, traffic, airboat, a jet, a plane, a bike, a foot, a ground, uh, what's it? What the fuck? And there goes a jet in the air. I hate that fucking name. The name, the word, the whole thing. Control delivery, media control, quote unquote, keep it classy. Yeah, you know, when I say, um, I don't. I was gonna say I don't hate, but you know sometimes you just get a little, a little passionate about something. Oh fuck! <laughs> I guess you get a little passionate about certain things that you dislike because <laughs> you just dislike it that much. Yeah. You ever just been somewhere and it's like no matter what you do, you can't escape a certain word. And I'm not talking about the word yet. I'm talking about like a completely different word. That one, when you can't escape it, no matter where you go that shit right there will drive you that shit right there like <laughs> it's just kind of like i'm 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 so in denial about whether or not it is a good or bad thing so i guess i'm not in denial I'm more so indecisive and i guess because i haven't got that clarity i will wait on it <laughs> Yeah, so controlled delivery. <laughs> Just wait on it. Just wait on it. Shout out to Migos RIP to take off. Um, then we have red collar, government workers of all types, politics, White House, engineers, and technicians. So did you know that there was such a thing as a red collar crime instead of blue and white? Or maybe black? Now you know. Um yeah so we're dealing with a red collar crime and again we have op undercover operations play it cool fool someone's trying to get you to like go with the flow and be cool about it but it's like bitch what are you talking about <laughs> go with the well you know what i'm saying go with the flow where am i going <laughs> that's what the fuck i need to know because i am not getting tricked about the spot because this is my motherfucking spot bitch don't play with me <laughs> Okay, and then we have identify um, associations, profits and support to subsequent financial crime investigations. So this has to deal with a lot of money. There are undercover cops and um, working on behalf on the positive end of the situation. And there are um, actual people in these legal workplaces that are working to suppress the people versus aid them. So, also, everything in our life is politics, y'all, and, and it, it is important to vote. I never thought I would be one of those people to say, vote, 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 but get your ass to the motherfucking voting. You can mail it in because I'm telling you, they mail you that shit. They don't forget. <laughs> All right. And then here we have seasonal work to a temporary employee. And then we have part time to full time. So we're dealing with somebody who is a seasonal worker or a temporary employee or somebody who doesn't have a job, but they are seeking to. <laughs> this is somebody else says they're snitching on their ass. <laughs> so somebody could be, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so and this person could be sneak. Uh, okay, so this person is sneaking to do this job part-time or full-time. I don't know. Or the job that this person does part time or full time, they have, they have, oh, they sneak off to do it. They lie. They say they have a job, but they really don't. They actually work from home using illegal funds to fund. Okay, so this is a, this is a money launderer. This is somebody who's trying to uh, move. Some this is somebody who's trying to wash illegal money to. The digital aspect okay so is that what the cryptocurrency world is a front for child trafficking 
not even just children trafficking, human trafficking, period. Energy harvesting, black market front. So what is the future? Is it truly digital currency or is it physical currency? I don't think physical currency is going to be going anywhere. And my thing is, is all of a sudden we have this coin shortage. But we use all our coins at all these motherfucking facilities and, and all these, um, you know, stores and restaurants and stuff like that. So it's like, if y'all aren't taking this shit back to the bank to deposit and keeping this, the cycle going, where are y'all melting the metal? What what are y'all melting the metal into? And where are y'all melting this metal into other things at? Because where are all the coins going? Something is a magnet, a magnetic field, a magnetic force field, a magnet, a magnetic uh, field dome. Okay, so maybe this Earth is flat and we are inside of a motherfucking dome. So given that theory is true, um, that would make sense. And then that would be proven valid a bit. Quite intriguing. Huh. So, uh, also, this is... Um, There's four different people that are associated to underground and international. Okay, that's just what the topic is. Um, that's the motherfucking secret that the world needs to be enlightened to the entire world major cities and stuff like that like all the major cities and people that which people like travel to a lot those are trafficking hubs in um thailand people go to, there to have sex with underage girls and children also these are people who work in the united states as seasonal workers temporary employees part-time and full-time so like you know i always wondered at like disney like how none of their employees were like true american people that you know they 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 source they use like third party um job staffing agencies and stuff like that to um like they hire people on like that actually like clean the resorts and and keep the resorts together do the landscaping clean the machines and stuff like that who actually do like they're out of country people and they're here on visas so it's like but it's like are you guys here in, in the United States to be a middleman back to your country so that people in our country who have the money to be able to go through these businesses um, to traffic people and children like from back home from where they're actually at, which are, you know, quote unquote, third world countries and or they're just not major. I I won't say major. Oh, yeah, there's always major and minor, but. I won't say they're not major countries, but they're like, some, they're smaller countries. And, you know, you access them by boat and stuff like that. But and but then, you know, these people grow up on these islands and they want a chance to come to America and stuff like that. And upon chasing their dreams, they get abused and trafficked in the process of getting here. I, and I guess like that's what the, that's the quote unquote cost of getting here. But at the same time, that's not what they were promised or and or told so that could be with the false document oh shit we're picking up on a lot here this ain't even come out but um that could be what the false documents was that came out here so someone was brought here from another island through uh through big through fortune 500 companies fortune 500 companies are responsible for i won't say all of them but some of them are, are connected to each other so these businesses are fronts to you know move big sum, lump sums of money to and fro all right let's see what else we need to this is already getting a little long holy spirit what else do we need to see in regards to this okay all right we got two um we have a queen of pentacles so this is a uh this is giving mother Teresa energy so this has something to do with the vatican and i'm currently wearing a fucking italy hoodie and this morning i just woke up and i was like i'm putting on this one and i was thinking about the fucking vatican and shit like that this morning when i put this on which is kind of weird uh not weird it's just reconfirmation of the truth so this is a mother Teresa. okay mother Teresa is responsible for trap 
tra traveling as an employee to the Vatican Italian Church, Roman Catholic, is it a Roman Catholic Church? I believe so. Um, Roman Catholic Church to other third world foreign countries seeking out scouting um, chosen children based on their birth charts. And when she gets to these children, she takes them and brings them back, you know, she promises the parents that they'll give the, that she'll give the children a better life and stuff like that. But she really takes them back, you know, to Italy and whatnot and and or to different adoption agencies. It just depends on, you know, I guess who she's fulfilling or getting a child for. Um, and that's how they clear their record. OK. Um, but these children, you know, their parents are giving them up under the spell work of the mother Teresa, queen of pentacles energy and what she does to these children is she brings them back to the vatican sells them off to you know the highest bidder keeps the funds and some it's either hidden in the church or connected to the church somehow but um you wouldn't expect her to be the one to do this because she's very humble she wears like the same thing all the time she's not flashy she's not fancy nothing like that but unfortunately she's still here um um it's okay unfortunately it's it, it's a it's a false i don't want to say it's like a false church but it's a false church um and page of wands is new ways of thinking communicating but also being a free spirit And that's crazy. If you look at the the gecko right here, the eyes were the eyes are slits, right? And last night I had a dream. I, I don't know. I forget who I was looking at, but in the dream I knew exactly who I was looking at. And I got closer to them, and their eyes were brown, and then they started shifting orange a little bit. But then they had slits in their eyes, not like this. This is like golden yellow eyes right here, but the it was like a brown like this, like yeah, like a brown to like this. So this is the message. Um, Yeah, so she goes to different islands and stuff like that, brings, you know, putting spell work on the family, like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, make your children, I'm gonna allow your children to have better life, this, is this, but really, she already plotted on these children based off, so she's a false uh, spiritualist, she uses her spirituality for the dark arts in order to seek out um, children, you know, chosen spirits, and newly born innocent spirits, which are very powerful from different parts across the world, and she has she it's very elaborate apparently it's a pyramid scheme it's a dark art spirit pyramid scheme and what they do is, is in, they go and seek out they seek out these children like when when women are pregnant there are already people like oh you're pregnant cool you know who's the father this is looking at you to see you know how the child might look when it comes out now after that um they bring the children from these motherfucking islands and over here back to italy she casts the spell work on the family through just by talking to them and, and you know, try, which is persuasion, manipulation, uh, reverse psychology, um, taking that, <clears throat> taking them away from their parents. So at a young age, so they have no recollection of memory, you know, of who their true parents are. And being that their parents are possible foreigners um, and or possible, you know, I feel like the, the parents of these children that, that have got, that have got, that did this and did not realize, like, they, they became spiritual um, after they realized, you know, something wasn't right after giving their children up or something like that. So they became spiritual in order to tap into their child and, and communicate that way. But these parents could have been spiritualists before their child was even born, which is how she, she's able. So some people are unaware of their spiritual gifts and are already natural powerhouses of pure energy and this bitch seeks them out with other dark art spiritualists behind the scenes across the world and has you know middlemen all throughout you know people drug dealers pretty much and um that take these girls and put them in the adoption and when the people come in to adopt them oh they seem like a good family and whatnot but they're actually groomers okay they they're actually people that um are affiliated to another different government agency in some sort of way that has you know mentally conditioned them either unaware to them and or aware to them and then these people join different secret societies and stuff like that to try to figure out okay how do i undo all the shit that was just done to me so it's kind of a it's a process of unlearning the shit that we've been pushed and forced to learn um 
but when she brings when mother Teresa this queen of pentacles energy so her her money's hidden okay um and she wasn't this is giving like this is like giving lizard energy okay this is just reptilian energy and the reptilians are um quite dark people they're actually the reason why people have the the pull of love and hate within within them sometimes because they're pulling on their energy in order to survive for their race to still be here and um also there's certain states that reptilian races cannot go so it's like certain states are already on love lockdown or already on lockdown from certain things um but also they take the children they bring it uh, i keep coming back to this bring the children over here she she cloaks herself does spell work on these families and sells them off to adoptive people but what she doesn't when she's in the church when the children are you know brought back to the church or brought back to the adoption agencies in the process of this bitch this she's actual a dark she's actually a dark witch a uh, mother Teresa is um when she's in the process of bringing these children back to different states and different countries and stuff what she, she allows she she forces them to be raped and shit like that on these plane rides by um private planes okay funded by the churches and then if we're looking at the money pattern uh these th these flights and shit that are funded by churches and stuff you have to assume that the men that are funding this are the predators and they're inside the, the goddamn churches so it's giving like I, I I would like the people to start getting into the mentality of, okay, how do we want this change to happen? How is this shift truly going to happen? And how is it going to work for the pure hearted's benefit um, only? Because we don't have, you know, we're here for a long time and a good time. We're not here for that half good, half bad shit. So that bad shit got to die off because this, this entire earth needs to be restored. And that's the only thing I kept hearing last night when I was in, when I was asleep, like, earth needs to be restored the earth needs to be restored the earth needs to be restored so somebody's trying to like it's like uh another time traveler or another magician from another planet y'all is trying to contact me and it's pissing me off because i've already seen myself on a motherfucking a motherfucking um spacecraft and it was a motherfucking clear bubble i'm just in the motherfucking space drifting around my, I'm, I'm, I'm up there drifting my little bubbles like sliding and shit and i promise y'all i was i was at another earth i was at another earth and i told y'all in a previous dream they're lined is they're lined up on two rows col two columns with two planets so if looking like this there's one there's excuse me there's two four six eight there's eight earths this is just one of them okay and also last night in my other reading that's still uploading for some reason um i realized i had said like there's the planets we're currently in a retrograde but right now if you know i was questioning the orbit of all of our uh, of the planets that are apparently aligned in our um solar system so it's kind of like if one of the, excuse me i question how one planet is able to ro you know or orbit or rotate in a certain direction we're, but we're all in alignment, but we're all not rotating together, if that makes sense. So, and granted, I understand, you know, certain planets are to rotate in a different orbit, but if so, were they manipulated to do so? Is that why there's so much conflict here? Okay. And I'm going to leave y'all with that because I got stuff to do. Much love and light. Hope y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.